Okay, the AED is an automatic external defibrillator. What it does, it detects an abnormal rhythm and when a shock is delivered, it tries to restore the rhythm of the heart. It tries to get the heart back to beating again. It restores the heart's um, cardiac rhythm. So um, when the AED arrives, you want to go ahead and use it right away. Um, we never want to delay using an AED. Um, the sooner that someone can go and get the AED and bring it back, the better. You want to go ahead and use it as soon as possible. Some AEDs turn on automatically. Some you have to physically turn on. And on the pads, we have adult pads here. On the pads, it'll show you um, exactly where to place the pads. One is going to go on the left, on the side here. And one is going to go at the top right. Let me turn it on. Analyzing rhythm. Everyone stand clear. All clear. Shock advised. Charging. Everyone stand clear. All clear. Everyone stand clear. Push the shock button. Deliver shock the delivered. shock. Begin five cycles of CPR. And resume compressions. That beep that you hear right there, that's the rate that you're supposed to do the compressions. Or um, you can think about the stay in the last song. The other One person's going to be given two breaths. Of CPR remain. Two breaths. And every two to five cycles, you want to alternate with the compressions and breaths. When it's two people, one person is giving the breaths and one is giving the compressions. You want to alternate. You want to alternate every two to five cycles because you know this is a workout. You're going to get exhausted and tired and all of that. So every two to five cycles, alternate the compressions and breaths, even before the AED arrives. Everyone clear. No shock advised. Okay. Begin five cycles of CPR. And then you'll um, resume the resume doing the compressions. There are a few considerations with the AED. One, it is safe to use on a pregnant lady. Um, if a victim has been submerged in water, you do want to get them out of the water and dry off more so the chest area. Uh, you don't have to dry off the rest of the body, just the chest area where you're gonna place the pads. Because water and electricity doesn't mix and it can interfere with delivering a shock. Also, um, um, people with chest hairs, um, if you place the pads on a hairy chest, the pads may stick and they may not stick. The AED will prompt you to press pads firmly, but um, after you've done that a few times and it still doesn't work, you can just snatch the pad off and it'll remove the hair, and you can replace the pads. Um, some AEDs may come with a razor. If it does, you can quickly shave the area off and then place the pads. Also, um, if they have a pacemaker, you don't want to place the pad directly over the pacemaker, but maybe to the side or under it 
but uh, most of the time a pacemaker is going to be on the left side instead of the right side. Um, also, if they have any surgical incisions, you don't want to place the pad directly over the incision, but anywhere around it, not directly over it. And also, if they have any jewelry, any metal, you want to remove that as well because the metal can interfere with delivering a shock. Um, ladies that have on bras, you do want to remove the bra, especially if it's an underwire bra because the metal can interfere with delivering a shock. Any questions? Okay, let's... Uh